Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. It's Sunday around 10 a.m. when I'm recording this. A lot to talk about. We've got some severe weather risk, flash flood risk, and that's all before we even get into Tropical Depression 10, which could become Tropical Storm Edalia uh, coming up this week. So there's a lot to get into. So let's dive right into it. We'll start with the overall picture. A couple things I'll point out everything here. This is Franklin, uh, Hurricane Franklin. This is going to stay off the coast and away from us. This is Tropical Depression 10. And then here's our stalled front. This right here, this is what we need to be paying attention to right here. This mess over the Carolinas. We can get into the other systems in a minute. And the reason I want to talk about this first is we've got a stalled front across the area. And then back to the west, you can see this disturbance in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Um, this is a trough that's digging in. It's going to dive into here, tap into this really warm, humid air, and really produce heavy rainfall today, later today, Monday, Tuesday, well ahead of our tropical system. So I'm going to pause this for a second. We'll turn the satellite off and I'm going to turn the severe weather risk on today just because I want to show you there is a low risk along this front for severe storms, but the risk overall is pretty low. It's the lowest we go. Um, tomorrow, same story for Monday. We'll go into Tuesday. Not much of a risk. So uh, that gives you an idea of the risk of severe weather. But let's look at the risk of flash flooding. All right, severe weather risk, we'll show you or that. We showed you that already, but here's the flash flood risk. So the area in yellow, that's a medium risk for flash flooding today. Tomorrow, you see the yellow, that medium risk again, and we'll go into Tuesday in the low risk, which is the green, the medium risk shifts to the south as we start focusing more on our tropical system. So let's uh, talk about the rainfall first, then we'll get into the tropics as we get this system from the south moving up towards our direction. All right, so we've got this stalled front, tons of deep moisture, not even the tropical stuff yet, just the really muggy air that's over us. We'll go into the afternoon hours today and you can see uh, starting about mid-afternoon, we're gonna see storms develop in the mountains and along the stalled front. Now where the stalled front is by later this afternoon, it could be here, but it's gonna be meandering north and south. So it's gonna be somewhere in here. So don't get caught up in the, a specific location. It's just gonna be in our area and it's gonna help drive showers and storms. So this is by this evening, that's some pretty heavy rain developing and again these are slow moving thunderstorms so think about flash flooding even though it's been really dry this is going to be the beginning of a wet period eventually things are going to get saturated and we're going to see uh, flooding be an issue this is into early monday morning so this stuff will linger well into tonight tomorrow morning there's some showers in the morning things kind of reload and then we get into the afternoon hours and you can see another round of heavy thunderstorms developing tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening so this is kind of the pattern we're going to be in. This is pretty soggy here um, for the next couple of days, especially Monday and Tuesday, all because of this stalled front. This has nothing to do with our tropical system yet. These are slow moving thunderstorms. So think about uh, storms that produce one to two inches of rain per hour, um, just sitting or only drifting five to 10 miles per hour. And then think of training. Training is when you get one storm to move over you and then another one develops behind it and another one and they move over the same path or train track. So think about a train where the track is laid down over you and each car is a thunderstorm that moves over you again and again and again. We call that training and that's what we expect with this system. So let's talk about the tropical system and how that could interact with this system. All right now, so how does the tropical system plan? So again, remember Franklin is over here. This is going to be a non-issue. That's going to be over towards Bermuda. This is the system we're watching. This is TD10. So let me throw up the track here real quickly. We'll turn on the forecast cone. And you can see it's going to move up here into the Carolinas by Wednesday or Thursday, maybe as soon as Tuesday, um, down here in Florida, and then moving up here through the day on Thursday and then off here by Friday. So this, this time frame in here is basically, I'd say, late Wednesday to early Friday, with Thursday being the peak of this system. Now what's going to happen is this system moves north, it's going to start throwing moisture into this stalled front and could enhance the rainfall. So let's get into um, the future cast here in a second, but I'm going to show you the super ensembles kind of showing you the forecast track. So there's a pretty good confidence in the in the latest guidance that this thing is going to come up through the, the Big Bend area of Florida and then kind of hug the Carolina coast and then curve out here. If you look carefully, uh, the areas in orange and yellow is a moderate to high probability of happening. Um, so this is a little bit better than some of our previous runs. So we're, we're getting a little more confident that this track's gonna be somewhere in here. But I would caution you, we don't know exactly where the center is forming because it's kind of been chaotic down there. I'm gonna show you the satellite image. 
Um, this is Cozumel, Cancun's up here. You probably have, a lot of folks have been there. So the low level circulation is somewhere in here, but the storms are all wrapped around and it's kind of all over the place. So until this gets organized, it's actually drifting south too and starts a forward movement. Some of the guidance has got to be uh, kind of held in question until we get a definitive forward motion of this system. So let's talk about some of that forecast into the future and what that's going to mean. All right, so let's dive into this setup here. I'm going to widen this out a little bit. So remember what's happening here. Pretty complex setup. We're going to have a stalled front in here. We've got Tropical Depression 10, and we've got Franklin here, and then we're going to have a big high-pressure system over the Western Atlantic. That high-pressure system is kind of helping drive everything. So that's picking up Franklin and pushing it out this way. This stalled front is actually because of a trough in the jet stream coming down. This flow of air is like this. So that's going to eventually pick up 10 and push it up here as well as the high moves east. So both of these are being steered generally in the same direction because of this trough and this high. But let, let's show you how this unfolds over time. So we've got the stalled front again. None of this rain today and tomorrow is associated with either of these tropical systems. So this is kind of going to set the stage for what could be potentially flooding in the middle of this week. You see flooding for today, tomorrow. You know, look at all the rain over Charlotte. There's our two systems. You can see Franklin looks more impressive. But watch what happens. So now we're going into basically Tuesday. Um, some of the moisture is being pulled up uh, way ahead. So the low, wh whatever is associated with Edalia or TD10, it'll be Edalia at this time, um, is down here in the eastern Gulf. The moisture starts spreading north. And you can see it interacting with whatever the stalled front is doing and creating rainfall. So this moves up here. Um, we get into basically Wednesday morning, starts pushing in. And then look at this. Wednesday morning, we've got some kind of landfall somewhere and again don't read into the specific landfall because who cares where the center is look how wide this is and also how wide it is that direction so the impacts are felt over this huge area and everybody's worried about where this little dot center is don't worry about where the dot center is look at all this if you're up here in columbia macon albany savannah even jacksonville daytona this center could go this way or this way you're still going to be in this big blob of moisture so uh, that's why we don't want to get too caught up in where the center is. We want to look at where the impacts, which are going to be over a several hundred mile wide swath. So that rain, you know, starts spreading north Wednesday night into Thursday. And this is what you got to be worried about. There's a heavy rain band that sets up uh, on the leading edge. So again, remember the centers could be down here, but we've got some kind of band forming like this, an east-west band. And I tell you what, whatever this is, if it's here, if it's over Charlotte, if it's even a little further south, wherever that sets up, there was going to be tremendous rainfall on top of saturated ground from the stalled front earlier in the week. So you get the idea how this setup can unfold. And then you go into Thursday. And I mean, that's heavy rain, folks. That is some serious rain over us. Um, and that's going to be through Thursday morning into the afternoon, into Thursday afternoon and evening. And then by early Friday, you know, pre-dawn hours, it's still over the eastern Carolinas and maybe shifting off to the coast. So so if you're looking for the peak impacts from this in the Carolinas, we'll back this up. This is Thursday um, morning, 2 a.m. This is Wednesday night. So if you look at Thursday, to me, it's Wednesday night into Thursday, and then all day Thursday looks pretty nasty. So what kind of impacts are we talking about? We got to take a look at some of the rainfall totals. All right, so let's talk about the rain because I I'm seeing a lot of people going, oh, great, we're getting rain. We need the rain. Yes, we do need the rain. Folks, we don't need this much rain, okay? And here's the problem. This rain is not just coming from the tropical system. It's coming from the stalled front. We've got two things that produce flash flooding overlapping each other, and that's not necessarily a good thing, even though we all need rain. So this is the day one forecast. You can see today, next 24 hours, we expect a couple spots could pick up one to two inches. Then we go into Monday. Um, you could see some areas picking up another one to two inches. So we go into Tuesday. And again, all of this is way before the tropical system. So think all this rain through basically Wednesday morning has nothing to do with our tropical system. So this saturates the ground. This is the much needed rain we need. So this would be a good thing. If it stopped here, whew, this would be great. Helps with the drought, helps all our plants. But the problem is it doesn't stop rain. We go into Thursday here, Thursday morning, Wednesday night to Thursday, here comes the next surge. We go into Friday, we go into Saturday, we go into Sunday. So you get the idea. This is a seven day rainfall forecast. Let me pause it right there. Somebody in these areas in, in, in the in the eastern part of North and South Carolina could end up with anywhere from five to eight inches of rain. 
So, and that could be low, to be honest with you. So yes, we need the rain. The rain early this week is going to be welcome. The problem is once we get the rain here, then we get another surge of rain from our tropical system. So I'll be keeping an eye on it. Remember, we're going to have several waves of rain. This is not going to be a one day event. It's going to stretch out over a four or five day event. So I would go ahead right now today before the rain starts. It's sunny. It's hot, humid. Get out there, maybe clear the storm drains out, get the house ready for maybe some sustained flooding or high water. So if you know those areas of your yard where the water kind of pools or where maybe it gets backed up, today's the day to kind of prepare because we are going to see a very soggy work week um, with maybe up to five to seven inches of rain in some parts of our area. Stay safe, stay weather aware. I will post updates throughout the next couple of days as we start to track flooding from the severe uh, from the uh, stalled front and then flooding possibly from Edalia or Tropical Depression 10, um, cutting our way for the middle of the week.